typical morning and uh, due to the overwhelming response of me appearing in some of the videos people just wanted to see a little bit more of Rob and so the chief media and communications officer has said you know what you need to go and get some more about what's going on with you so here we are there goes a dog on four mile beach and in the background you can probably just spot a cruise liner of which that's the first time i've ever seen that here so i don't really know what's going on there so this morning it's a i'd say it's a knock her off about a 5k walk on four mile beach if you head around that one uh, and uh you know pull up somewhere grab some brekkie you know, settle in for a work from home day but you know essentially how do you get sick of that you don't get sick of that which uh which brings me to another point a lot of people have come back to us saying hey you, know, you guys what happened to all the travel and doing all that sort of stuff and, which is what the initial plan was um, but that actually wasn't what cutting loose was about cutting loose was about shifting life out of a major city like Sydney and just changing the way we live which is what we've done since we've left now we've had to pivot for certain reasons um, but you know I've got to tell you you know this pivot yeah we're up here at Port Douglas having to do some minor renos but we've been living in Port Douglas for the last six months and we all know that the chief media and communications officer hasn't quite gelled with the tropics which is okay but um, you know there are other plans afoot and uh, stay tuned because things are changing study obviously yeah I, I can just close the door on that one <coughs> you have to live with that yeah I'm gonna go this study. <laughs> well again it is transformative even into this little corner that's always been a really dingy well, it, corner. This ended up, we took the, the hardware system was good we got it out but th then it was left with all this ugliness and now this is gonna tie it all up so it's all good it's so good you're doing your favorite part rolling yeah, I don't know if I've got a favourite part, yeah. <laughs> I thought you liked the rolling part. You didn't yeah, like look, cutting. I'm, yeah, look, I'm, I'm not bad with the rolling part. It's just like there's been a lot of rolling parts. So, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't ask me to paint my hurry after this one. At yeah. least you don't have to worry about the tiles. Eh? You don't have to worry about those tiles. No, I don't. With Rob busy painting, I focused on packing up Holly. Everything that came out, basically, had to go back in. Okay. Hello, Holly. Oh, it feels nice. Man, it feels good to be in here. Let's open up some of these blinds. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's exciting. Adventure. Yeah. 
We've gotten through a lot of work since we've landed here and the last big job that seems to be ongoing is the painting. The painting's not an easy job in this place. The Besser blocks makes it hard to paint into all the nooks and crannies but Rob's done such an incredible job and all in his downtime in between work. Of course we would have liked to have left by now but you know things don't always go to plan and ultimately we don't mind. It was actually going off plan that got us here in the first place. We were thinking the other day we may never have come up here and renovated and got this place ready had it not been for a whole heap of other circumstances that pushed us here. So for now we're just going to keep riding it one day at a time because ultimately we want the freedom to choose and to plan to have no plans. All right a lot of people like to ask Rob what do you like doing in your free time? <laughs> well, in my free time, I love nothing more than painting. And you say, really? No. No, not really. No. I don't like painting. But you know what? Sometimes you've got to make peace with the world, peace with what you've got to do. And there's three treatments that you give any given situation. One is you accept it. You do it with enjoyment or you do it with enthusiasm. I'm going the acceptance phase because I'm struggling to enjoy <laughs> and I'm definitely not in the enthusiastic stage. Yeah. But this is my video, no interruption. <laughs> It's enough from you. So anyway, you know, a bit of spare time. What do you do? Pick up a cheeky little brush. Let's give her a whack, see what she comes out like, eh? Catch you later. Is that it? This area, yeah. I'm in this You know, more on the painting scene. I thought I had to share. Um, you might be thinking, 
but that area behind your elbow looks like it's freshly painted. That's because it is. You know, when we first chose the colours, I thought I'd take a bit of initiative, go a bit harder, see if I could paint a few extra bits and pieces before my folks got here. And, uh, and then we realised we didn't really want that colour. Now, I use the term we very loosely. So, this wall here, this wall, that one, that one. It's about to get the fourth coat of paint. Of course, I'll have to do two coats. So, therefore, it would have had five coats of paint. I mean, what's better than painting a wall once or twice? Five times. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. There's none yet, but the smell is starting to walk. The ovens just, just pump them up right up. You can tell that it's a nice fan, fan full stuff. Uh, that's what I was going to say, they look like they're a bit... They're a bit yeah, they jumped up straight away. They look like they're jacked up, mate. <laughs> that's the whole purpose of it. Jacked up, again. Thank you for that, that very graphic sentiment. Indonesia. 